So my last video, I used resin with my scroll sawing um, to create sort of a simulated stained glass effect. But you can also use resin uh, just as a finishing technique, uh, such as uh, this with a solid backing, uh, where you just pour resin into the open areas there to color instead of using stain or paint or whatever, and uh, creates kind of a nice glassy effect. Uh, this is a pattern from Alex Fox. Uh, I suggest you check out his Etsy page. He has lots of great patterns and I have a lot more of his. I have an eye on to do this sort of thing with uh, because they're perfect for this sort of effect because of his layered patterns that he has. Um, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to make this fairy, which is another pattern from Alex Fox. And uh, so it kind of has a combination of both with the resin inside and the stars are kind of a stained glass effect. So uh, I will show you how I created this one. So now we have our fairy painted, glued together, ready to go. I added uh, some spray glitter to make her pretty and sparkly. And now we're going to add the resin, so a few things. Um, the stars don't have a backing, so I just put some clear packing tape on there to hold the resin in. Uh, the rest is just glued thoroughly on all the edges very carefully, and I even put some of that um, some runny glue kind of on the inside edges too, just as a double measure to make sure nothing leaks. And for the resin, um, I found these beautiful metallic powders, which I'm going to try out for the first time, so not sure how that's going to work, but we'll give it a go. Uh, we're going to try to make the moon glow in the dark by adding some glow in the dark paint to the resin again first time so not sure if that's going to work out but we got a got a lot of firsts here so we'll see how that goes um, so now in, there's a tiny little pieces in here so instead of mixing up like seven batches of itty bitty tiny little bit of resin I just mixed up one giant glass of clear resin and then we're gonna separate bits into these little shot glasses and color those up for all the little bits in here so Let's get cracking. So we go all ready to go. Got our little shot glasses mixed with the colors. And uh, I also got these little squeezy things here. Hopefully they work for the smaller areas. Um, or like I said uh, before you can use the syringes as well. If you can find some of those, those work really well. Breaking a rule I have, which is uh, waiting for the colors to dry before doing the next one, um, but that's because I wanted to match, mix one big batch and separate it because just mixing tiny, tiny little batches like this is just not as feasible. We got all our colors in, now we just have to wait for it to dry. Um, this little bit here is a reminder of why it's important to make sure you get glue everywhere on all the bits because I have a little bit of leakage around the edge here, so hopefully this clamp will help that. And uh, we'll see if hopefully this uh, works out. So overall I was uh, pretty pleased with the finished product. Uh, the stars, uh, maybe the tape I put on the back didn't work quite as well as I'd hoped because there was a little bit of leakage, but uh, shh, we won't tell anybody. And uh, the metallic worked out nice, and the moon does actually glow in the dark, so hooray!